So our children do not belong to the government, nor the school districts. The grooming of our children has to stop. The pornography books must be kept out of our schools. If any of this was found on a person's computer, they would be arrested and put in jail. If a parent wants their children to read or see these type of books, they can buy them at the bookstore for their home, but they are not appropriate to be in our schools no matter the grade. These books are immoral. Leave the children alone and stop trying to groom them and tell children that they need to change their gender, which is an absolute impossibility. God created male and female and nothing else. We are fearfully and wonderfully made by God, and God does not make mistakes. A male has XY chromosomes and a female has XX chromosomes, and no amount of surgery, drugs, and body mutilation will ever change their biological sex. A person's sex or gender is determined at the moment of conception. Any teacher or anyone trying to convince a child that they are in the wrong body should not be teaching anywhere. And to hide any of this from a parent is a total violation of the parent-child relationship. That is what sex abusers tell a child. Don't tell your parents. This is a secret between us. Let children be children and stop stealing their innocence. As educators, your job is to teach children how to read, write, and do math and science, not indoctrinate them into sexual deviancy. There is nothing more than about, than about population control because as sexual reproduction organs are removed, then these children will not be able to have children when they become adults. How would any of you feel if you found out that your child's schools or teachers were telling them that they should change their gender but not tell you? You would be furious, I should hope. Listen to and read about the young people and others who went through a sex change and now are detransitioning because they have learned that this was not their problem at all. Most children outgrow this dysphoria if they are just allowed to go through normal puberty and get good counseling if needed. Big Pharma is making people who take these sex hormones lifelong patients dependent on drugs because their bodies are so messed up. America leads the world as a consumer of child sex trafficking. This is nothing to be proud of. Thousands upon thousands of children are missing and have been sold into t to sex trafficking. A bag of cocaine can only be sold once, but a child can be sold five to ten times a day. It is time to stop the grooming of children in schools and everywhere. So please keep these books out of the schools and let children be children and let them develop normally. To quote from the movie Sound of Freedom, God's children are not for sale.